how the dry bones shall live again. Father Lord, I thank you because you are God of possibilities and there is nothing impossible for you. Oh God, my Father, forgive me of my past mistakes and errors in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, my Father, let your mighty hands rest upon me for miracles, breakthroughs, healings, and deliverance. Oh God, my Father, let your mighty hands carry me out of where I am to where you want me to be. O oh God, my Father, let my valley of dry bones be converted to mountain of testimonies. Father, Lord, you are the hope for the hopeless. Let my lost hope be restored. Today, O oh Lord, do the impossible in every area of my life and let my dry bones receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let every dry bones in every area of my life receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let my dead dreams receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let my dead potential receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let my dead glory receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let my dead business receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let every dead organ in my body receive the life of God and live. O oh God, my Father, let my dead star receive the life of God and live. I speak life into every organ in my body. I speak life into my life and destiny. I speak life into my finances. I speak life into the life of my, of my husband. I speak life into my marriage. I speak life into the life of my children. I speak life into my business and my sources of income. I speak life into my dreams and my future. Oh God, my Father, stretch your mighty hands and restore my joy. Oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and restore my glory. Oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and restore my lost miracles. Oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and restore my lost opportunities. Oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and restore my lost blessings. Oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my failures to success. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my ridic ridicules to miracles. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my trials to triumph. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my tests to testimonies. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert barrenness to fruitfulness. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my stagnated life to progressive life. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my demotion to promotion. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my tears to laughter. O oh God, my Father, stretch out your mighty hands and convert my misfortune to good fortune and favor. I command my situation to cooperate with the plan of God for my life. I command every circumstances around me to cooperate with the divine agenda for my life. O oh God, my Father, let there be a shaking and let my life be restored. O oh God, my Father, let there be a shaking and let my blessings be released. I speak solution into every unpleasant situation in my life. I speak solution into every stubborn situation in my life. I speak, let there be light into every darkness in any area of my life. I speak peace, be still into every stormy situation in my life. I claim victory over every battle against my life. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 37 from verses 1 to 12. I felt the powerful presence of the Lord, and His Spirit took me and set me down in a valley where the ground was covered with bones. He led me all round the valley, and I could see that there were very many bones and that they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal man, can these bones come back to life? I replied, Sovereign Lord, only you can answer that. He said, Prophesy to the bones. Tell these dry bones to listen to the word of the Lord. Tell them that I, the Sovereign Lord, 
I'm saying to them, I am going to put breath into you and bring you back to life. I will give you sinews and muscles and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you and bring you back to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been told. While I was speaking, I heard a rattling noise and the bones began to join together. While I watched, the bones were covered with sinews and muscles and then the skin, but there was no breath in the bodies. God said to me, Mortal man, prophesy to the wind. Tell the wind that the sovereign Lord commands it to come from every direction to breathe into these dead bodies and to bring them back to life. So I prophesied as I had been told. Breath entered the bodies and they came to life and stood up. There were enough of them to form an army. God said to me, Mortal man, the people of Israel are like these bones. They say that they are dried up without any hope and with no future. So prophesy to my people Israel and tell them that I, the sovereign Lord, am going to open their graves. I am going to take them out and bring them back to the land of Israel. Psalms 18 How I love you, Lord. You are my defender. The Lord is my protector. He is my strong fortress. My God is my protection, and with him I am safe. He protects me like a shield. He defends me and keeps me safe. I call to the Lord, and he saves me from my enemies. Praise the Lord. The danger of death was all round me. The waves of destruction rolled over me. The danger of death was round me, and the grave set its trap for me. In my trouble, I called to the Lord. I called to my God for help. In his temple, he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. Then the earth trembled and shook. The foundations of the mountains rocked and quivered. Because God was angry, smoke poured out of his nostril, a consuming flame and burning coals from his mouth. He tore the sky apart and cast down with a dark cloud under his feet. He flew swiftly on a winged creature. He traveled on the wings of the wind. He covered himself with the darkness. Thick clouds full of water surrounded him. Hailstones and flashes of fire came from the lightning before him and broke through the dark clouds. Then the Lord thundered from the sky, and the voice of the Most High was heard. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. With flashes of lightning, he sent them running. The floor of the ocean was laid bare, and the foundations of the earth were uncovered. When you rebuked your enemies, Lord, and roared at them in anger, the Lord reached down from above and took hold of me. He pulled me out of the deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies and from all those who hate me. They were too strong for me. When I was in trouble, they attacked me, but the Lord protected me. He helped me out of danger. He saved me because he was pleased with me. The Lord rewards me because I do what is right. He blesses me because I am innocent. I have obeyed the law of the Lord. I have not turned away from my God. I have observed all his laws. I have not disobeyed his commands. He knows that I am faultless, that I have kept myself from doing wrong. And so he rewards me because I do what is right, because he knows that I am innocent. Oh Lord, you are faithful to those who are faithful to you, completely good to those who are perfect. You are pure to those who are pure, but hostile to those who are wicked. You save those who are, in, who, who, who are humble, but you humble those who are proud. Oh Lord, you give me light. You dispel my darkness. You give me strength to attack my enemies and the power to overcome their defenses. This God, how perfect are his deeds, how dependable his words. He is like a shield for all who seek his protection. The Lord alone is God. God alone is our defense. He is the God who makes me strong, 
who makes my pathway safe. He makes me sure-footed as a deer. He keeps me safe on the mountains. He trains me for battle so that I can use the strongest bow. Oh Lord, you protect me and save me. You care, your care has made me great and your power has kept me safe. You have kept me from being captured and I have never fallen. I pursue my enemies and catch them. I do not stop until I destroy them. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They lie defeated before me. You give me strength for the battle and victory over my enemies. You make my enemies run from me. I destroy those who hate me. They cry for though I they cry for help, but no one saves them. They call to the Lord, but he does not answer. I crush them so that they become like dust which the wind blows away. I trample on them like mud in the streets. You saved me from a rebellious people and made me ruler over the nations. People I did not know have now become my subjects. Foreigners bow before me. When they hear me, they obey. They lose their courage and come trembling from their fortress. The Lord lives, praise my defender. Proclaim the greatness of God, of the God who saves me. He gives me victory over my enemies. He subdues the nations under me and saved me from my foes. Oh Lord, you give me victory over my enemies and protect me from violent men. And so I praise you among the nations. I sing praises to you. God gives great victories to his king. He shows constant love to the one he has chosen, to David and his descendants forever. Proverbs 18.21 what you say can preserve life or destroy it, so you must accept the consequences of your words. That's all for now. If you like such kind of videos, then consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing to your friends. Thank you and bye-bye.